Hi, y'all. Hello. It's Angela and Loretta. We're here with a laugh aloud review of Towering. Whoa. Oh. Holy moly guacamole. Let's find it. Let's find it. Can you see it? Right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's by one. Alex Flynn. Yes, we love Alex we do. We've had some major girl crushes on Alex Flynn's writing and her for a while. Yes. Even back when we thought he was a boy. When, before I we know, blogged. right? <laughs> before we blogged, we didn't know Alex Flynn was a girl. I it's met like her. Alex Flynn. I met her at the West Virginia Book Festival a couple years ago, and it's fabulous. She's fabulous. Loretta was jealous. Yeah, I was jealous. Anyway, uh, before we get started, you know, to disclaimer, these Laugh Aloud reviews are very loosely termed reviews. They're mostly just our, us running our mouths about a book. So. Yeah. And you like it? <laughs> Thank you, bro. Whoa, every time you move the table, it's like we're... <laughs> Psychedelic. Okay. Watch it not be on the video. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> so, what did you think about the book? Did you love it? Did I you hate it? it? I thought that it was good as all Alex's books are. I haven't read all of her books. Have you read all of her books? Well, the ones I have read. <laughs> Which ones have you read? I have read Beastly, <laughs> Bewitching, and Towering. <laughs> all so in just the, the same series. Just the Kendra Chronicles? Just I'm with you. That. I have the rest of them. I have the rest down there. Somewhere. Oh, on her shelf. She's like, what are those? Um, so, I gave it four stars. 4.5 So, stars. we liked it a lot. I felt that you had to really, um, throw out all sense of realism. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to enjoy this I mean, novel. Like, like, if you're somebody who's really into realistic. It's a fairy tale. Right. And it was really on the fairy tale level. Like, and the... Really. A duh. <laughs> it's very fairy tale and it was a lot of fun. It was. It was it's still cute. kind of dark and, yeah, and creepy, creepy, but still fun. Well, that's fairy tales, though. They're supposed to be. But yeah. yeah, if you can't throw away your realism and just go along for the ride and enjoy it, you're probably not going to enjoy it. No. But I did. But it was and, awesome. And I, I enjoyed it, it a lot. I need more. I, I just need to get rid of more of her books since I have them. <laughs> you should do that. Soonish. We have a ton of books to read. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the next point we got. She was the kick ass rescuer. She did a lot of rescuing in this book. Yeah, we love that she rescued instead of having like the Prince Charming rescue everybody it's and everything. Twist. And she just kind of daintily holds onto his arms. She's like, she took care of business. Thoughts about everything outside of the. Tower, whatever uh -huh. was funny, it was hilarious. Oh my gosh, she was so <laughs> funny, and like, cause she only, the only culture she knew was like from Little Women and Crown and Prejudice, yeah. and so she talks like she's from the 18th century, and then doesn't understand anything from this century, and it was very funny, especially when she ended up with a cell phone. Yes, that was hilarious. She, yeah. It was very hilarious. Yes. I like that. But, yeah, I like that he, she even rescued him. Like, there was no, you know, damsel in distress constantly being saved by Prince Charming. Mm -hmm. It kind of turned that whole thing on its ears. She kicked butt. And the dude thought that he was tripping. Because it was really kind of cre creepy. Right, and but he, he kind of, I mean, it was insta love, but, like, that's fairy tales. Fairy tales. But, you know. If you want to love the rap. Yeah, something else. It's magical insta love, magical. people. Magical. Magical insta love. Gosh. It's a difference. No. <laughs> Has there ever seen hair tangled? tangled? Right? Hair tangled. That's what I love. I love it. I love she calls it hair tangled. <laughs> I love Gosh, tangled. We that's like, love tangled up in here. That's my favorite Disney movie. It's come out like the last decade. Yeah. Well, I love classics. Besides, yeah, classics. Besides but like the last Ralph. decade. Besides regular Ralph. I haven't watched Wreck It Ralph yet. You have to watch But Wreck Tangled is definitely my favorite, like the last decade, for sure. Love it. I swear we watch it like once a week. So I like that there's other fairy tales woven in and not just Rapunzel. Yeah, I got the feel of 
other ones. Yeah, like if it wasn't like very obvious, but every now and then you'd see like a little glimpse of like Rumple Stiltskin yeah, or I something can't else. Think of the other I know one. there were several others that like you get little glimpses and pieces that you can pull out of other fairy tales, which is a lot of fun to see what all Alex Flynn weaves in. She's a master of weaving fairy tales together and making That's them modern very, and very cool. Good. Yes, it's very enjoyable. I like the flow of the story. It went very mm-hmm. fast and fun. Yep, fun, and cute, I was hilarious. Like, you will yes. laugh. Yes. You'll get creeped out. Oh my gosh. You'll be like, oh. And I read it in like no time. I felt mm-hmm. like I just opened it and it was done. It really yep. was sucked you in, you know? Yeah. Did you read it or did you listen to it? I listened to it. <laughs> but I it like suck you in that way. It did suck me in because I read it on the Kindle Fire. Uh-huh. So her voice kind of went with it really good. Yay. And I was like, Oh, and then I was like, dang, I can't change to a male <laughs> because when the guy's talking, I know I do that on some, like, Eleanor and Park, I have to listen to part of it, and I'm like, why ain't Park talking like right. a guy? <laughs> but it was very, very, very good. I loved it very, very much. Yes. I don't think we really need to do a spoiler, Ellie. No. Part for this one, because there's not much to be like, oh, yes. It was just, you need to read it. If you enjoy retellings and fairy tales and Alex Flynn. Alex Flynn then you will enjoy the addition to the Kindred Chronicles. Yeah, I mean, if you've read it, it's, there's nothing to really make this part of the Kindred Chronicles. There's no Kindred. No. That's why I was kind of confused, because I was looking for my witch. <laughs> right. Like, she, and, unless she, she somehow, there. like, unless they're going to put it in the finished copy that she somehow yeah. sent that girl. Like, the end or something, or a beginning. Or, you know, that girl who sent... You know, talking about that part of spoiler. Yeah, that, that, but yeah. They can, that. they can weave her in somewhere, but in between our arc and a finished copy. But, um, yeah, there was no Kendra. She was in Beastly as the yeah, witch, because, and then she like, was the main witch in Bewitching. Bewitching. Yeah, in Bewitching, there was, like, a part of her telling her story and then this regular story. Right. So that would be good to see. But the, uh, she wasn't even mentioned. It was not. It's still fine. The story's still good. Right, but it's, she's written other fairy tale books, so I don't understand why they included it Yeah. as the series. Unless it's just to get series play, which is yeah. kind of annoying. Yeah. So you get people who love the series to pick it up. It just, yeah. But we would have picked it up anyway. But mm-hmm. there are people who, you know, series lovers, but... That makes me mad. I'm an Alex Flynn lover. Me too. I love the cover. I love all of them. Well... Hold up. Wait a minute. The only one I can find in Beastly now Air. is that Movie cover. wretched Sharpie drawn face. Yeah. It's horrible. Movie I cover. wish that one looked like I have the original Didn't they redo Beastly. it? Didn't they redo Beastly? Mm, well, they like Beast? the witching? I don't remember. I'm going to have to check it out. Um, But, yeah. I love the cover of this one because... When I first was start before I read this, I was like, "Why in God's name is she wearing a tank top in the snow?" <laughs> right. But you don't understand. This cover matches this book to a yes. T. Amazing. Like, gotta be. I mean, missing the is no, great. I love when books match the contents of the book. The snow, and the covers match the towers. Her the, outfit, her yes. hair, everything about this cover matches the contents of the book. So even her tank top in the snow matches. Seriously, it's, there's a reason she's wearing a tank top in the snow. She's not just dumb. Weird. <laughs> yes. But it's very, very good. I just want to know how her dress stayed white. I well, know, right? I mean, it's the magic. It's fairy magic. tale. You or can't, she used Tide. You can't ask about or fairy tale Or that secret stuff. person was using Tide. <laughs> And you can't have um, a washer up in the tower that I know of. No, you can't. Pumpkin? What? Pristine water? Well, I mean, it is the magic of the tower. It had to be. Oh, hair. Oh, there is. <laughs> oh, God, you're so right. It was her hair. Her it's hair. Her hair. <laughs> her hair. <laughs> oh, no. Oops. I did not just but, give away yeah. a spoiler that she deleted. No, I did not. We didn't. Okay. You heard the little alarm in there beeping. It's gonna be... I was here how many days ago and he still hasn't put a 9 volt in the alarm. It's okay. Because every time I go to the store, it's my job to get the battery. No, you keep forgetting to pick up the 9 volt. Okay, I got yeah. this. It'll be okay, though. <laughs> that chirping is not an animal, it's a violin. It's a little. It is playing dead.
with all the other ones works. So I don't, don't freak know. Out. I don't know how she hasn't went insane living with it. With I'm days. used to it. It's kind of like with the read to me feature on the regular Kindle. <laughs> oh my god. I can't what handle you. What are you doing? Oh, oh you. <laughs> don't ask me questions. <laughs> I can't answer them. No, 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 no. No. So, the only thing that's annoying about reading to me on this is whenever it says no, it always says number. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> so, I've learned. And I'll be like. I've learned my brain automatically hears a number as no. So if there's ever the word number in the book, mm -hmm. I'm like, well, you mean no. Right. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you don't even want to know the pronunciations of the other one. Yeah. It's, it's bad. We're really just talking. <laughs> so how have you been? Yeah. Well, let's do an ending. Yes, you. <laughs> you. You right there. Sitting you. right there by the computer. Hi. Hiya. What's up? Boop. Boop, boop. Okay. And we're done. The end. Bye. 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 <laughs>